Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how to get the sum, average, minimum, and maximum from a set of values using arrays. So let's create a new project and name this input values. Okay. Hit create. Now let's create a new package. So I click new package. Okay, now inside this package, let's create a Java class. So let's name this main. Inside here, let's create our main method. It's going to be public static void main string args. Now, our first step is to create a scanner class so we can input values from the keyboard. So, scanner, scanner equals new scanner. Now, inside of here, let's put in system dot in and close this off. Now, our next step is to create a integer that will determine how big our array is going to be. So int, I'm going to call this array lang equals zero for now. Now we need to ask the user how big they want their array to be so they can input a value and set array length to that value. So Ask the user, how long do you want your array to be? Okay. So now let's get the, the keyboard input for that. So array length equals scanner dot next int let's close this off okay so now let's create the array so double now let's call this my array equals new double and inside the brackets, let's put an array length because that's how long our array is going to be. So now we need to divide this up into four sections. So to min, max, sum, and average. Now, inside um, the min category, let's put in double min, so a new variable, equals, and I'll set this to double dot max value, because we're going to compare a number to the max value and then eliminate that each time until we find the minimum value. Let's do that. Now inside the max we're going to do the same thing. So double max equals double dot min value. Let's be the opposite. So now we need to use a for loop to read the input from the user using the keyboard. So let's go down here. Now let's create a for loops so for int i equals zero. I is less than array length and i plus plus. Inside here we're gonna put a print statement so we can organize our input so 
inside here, let's put a number sign plus I'm going to do i plus 1, and then plus a colon with one space at the end of it. So now we need to get um, the input one by one. So let's do my array of i is equal to scanner dot next double because our array is a double array right here so we use the next double okay now we need one more print statement so it'll go to the next line after we're done inputting so in here let's just put quotes all right in the sum section we need calculate our sum so let's create a new variable for that so double sum equals zero okay now we need a for loop so we can go through each number one by one to calculate the sum so four int i equals zero i has to be less than my array dot length so this is how big my array is. And then i plus plus. Now inside here, um, we need to put sum equals sum plus my array. And then set the brackets, we need to put i. Because our for loop uh, it uses the integer of i. Okay. Now we're done with sum. Now let's do average. So let's create a new variable for that. So double average equals zero. Now we need to have it so that the average is equal to the sum divided by uh, array dot uh, array length. All right. Okay, now that we're done with this. So now we need to calculate the minimum value. So first, our first step for the minimum and maximum was to create these variables. Now our next step down here is to, so let's create a new section, min. Now inside here, we need a for loop so we can go through each of the inputs one by one. For int i equals zero. i has to be less than Array length i plus plus. Now inside here we need to put the following min equals math dot min and then inside these parentheses we need to put in min comma my array. And then inside the brackets, we need to put in i, because that's our for loop variable. Let's close this off. Okay. Now we need to do the exact same thing for the maximum. So, next. Now, just copy and paste this in down here. But make sure you change the minimums to the max math dot max and max okay now our last step is to output all of our values into the console so slash slash output and down here we need to put in SWT tab now we put in 
the sum is then over here you need to put plus sum okay now you do the same thing for the other one so for the average let's do the average is and then plus average now let's do that again for the minimum and maximum so the minimum is min and in for the max so the max minimum is plus max okay now we have this you can run it and we should get output so let's go all the way up here and press this run button so how long do you want it to be so let's do seven and we have number one so 34 76 89 12 1 and 90 so it, it only does it seven times because I because I put in seven here and my sum is 3 to 10 average 44.2 the minimum is 1 the maximum is 90 you can go up and check that that is true uh, the minimum and uh, this is the maximum Thank you for watching.